Hey Misfits, Tony Craft here. I wanted to share with you one of my favorite things to do in art, which is linoleum block carving. This is a type of printmaking. What it is is just how it sounds. This is a block of wood, some sort of MDF, with a thin sheet of linoleum attached to it. So all you need is a linoleum block, a high contrast image of your choice, and a soft and dark pencil something to cut with, something to carve your linoleum with. This is a speedball. Um, it has all my attachments inside it. You know, they're supposed to be ergonomic so you can hold them in your hand for a long period of time. So we're going to take our high contrast picture and you can, you can choose to do this one of two ways. You can either outline all of your white parts, which are going to be the parts that you remove when you carve, or you're gonna outline your dark parts, which is everything that's gonna stay. So using the soft pencil, I basically shaded in all the dark parts. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my linoleum block. Now you can use anything to um, transfer the image. A lot of people use metal spoons because of its smoothness. Um, I have what's called a um, bone folder. Well, they're called bone folders when they're made out of bone. I'm not sure what they're called, but they're made out of wood, a wood folder. So we're basically just gonna scrape it. I'm just gonna rub it all over. And we're rubbing it to transfer the graphite from the image to the linoleum block. And I'm just lifting up the paper a little bit to see where I kind of need to put more pressure. So it didn't come out too, too dark, but you can see the general imagery, right? So then what you can do is take your pencil again and where you know that those lines exist, you can just basically color right back over them. And now the other thing you have to remember is that when you're, when you're looking at your linoleum block, your image is now backwards. So if you're referencing your original image, you'll want to think that way, right? Think backwards, which is a weird thing to say, I guess. Okay, so I think I have what is going to be my final block. And what you want to do now is start taking away the white space. So if you're a gouger, you can start gouging. Um, for me, I'm going to start with fine lines and kind of work my way to gouging. And there's my first cut. Okay, so it's always good to check partway through um, or when you feel like you're starting to be finished. It's good to take a print of it and see what else you need to take away. So this here is something that's made for printmaking. Um, mine's a little bent. <laughs> it's basically to roll paint on um, and you can also put your block um, here and when you're pushing on it with your carving tools, you're not gonna slip. Also a word of caution never put your hand in front of what you're carving that may seem like common sense but uh, people get hurt carving like this all the time so always make sure that both of your hands are behind the space that you're carving so i i just realized that i actually don't have any printing ink so i'm just gonna use acrylic and i can tell already when i roll i can tell already that i need to take some off because where I thought I was getting rid of enough, um, it's still picking up way too much ink. Way too much. Let's try that again. I'm just gonna try to use a piece of watercolor paper. Um, it's a little stiff. If you're in a printmaking studio, you can actually soak your paper to make it softer. And uh, you're, you're gonna use a different kind of paper, but we're being inventive today, okay? Deal with it. All right, so I'm just gonna drop this on here. Okay. And I'm gonna use the same tools as I used before. Let's see. All right, this one's looking better and better. So anyways, this was not bad. This was a 30 minute, okay, maybe 45 minute project. You know, yes, you will need to go out and buy some new supplies unless you already have this stuff. Maybe you have better stuff than I do. <laughs> Clearly, I'm working with random stuff I find in my closet. 
Um, but printmaking is super fun. It's really easy to do these high contrast images. And once you do it, you have a stamp that basically you can keep forever. If you like what we're doing and you want to keep making art with us, please subscribe, like this video, and come along. I would love to see any art you make after watching my video, so please email me if you make anything cool. I'd love to see it. You can find me everywhere else, all the things, Facebook, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. So feel free to follow me everywhere or anywhere. See you next time. Thanks for watching.